Hello, welcome to Link Program. In this presentation, I'm going to introduce you the PBLA Language Companion and how to use it. We will also take a close look at About Me section in the Language Companion. What is a language companion? Once you join a link class, you will receive a free binder. The name of the binder is the PBLA language companion. Your teachers may call it a binder or a portfolio. The language companion is to help you learn English, learn about Canada and your community, and organize and store the work you do in class. The binder is yours. You should bring it to each class and keep it organized. You will bring your binder with you when you move to a different class. The binder is very important. Please don't lose it. So what's in your binder? There are six orange sections in your binder. In the first four sections, there is useful information about language learning and settling into Canada. The fifth section, my notes, is where you keep your daily class activities, handouts, and worksheets. In the next slide, we will talk more about the sixth section, my portfolio. My portfolio is the most important section in your binder. It includes six small blue sections. About me, listening, speaking, reading, writing, and other. You will complete many activities and tasks in listening, speaking, reading, writing, the four skills. And based on your teacher's instruction, you can put some of them in listening, speaking, reading, writing sections. The other section is where you keep materials that you would like to look back on. And for the About Me section, I will talk about it in details shortly. Whenever you put anything to the six blue sections, you need to write the date and the title of the task on an inventory sheet. These are inventory sheets for each blue section. An inventory sheet is kept at the beginning of each blue section. It will help you keep track of your work and help you and your teacher find things quickly. Every student's inventory will be different because everyone starts at a different time. At the end of each session, your teacher will look at your binder and have a meeting with you to talk about how your language learning is going. About me section is for you to collect information about your needs, your goals, and reflections on your learning. Usually in the beginning of a session, your teacher will guide you to complete your needs assessment and goal setting then you put them in this section. During the session, you need to constantly check your English learning progress, then complete learning reflections and keep them here as well. Needs assessment. What does needs assessment mean? Please keep in mind that we are talking about learning English. Needs means something you need or really want to learn from your teacher in the class. Assessment means a quick check. 
doing needs assessment here is similar like what we do before grocery shopping. You probably check your fridge and pantry to see what you have run out or you need before you go to the grocery store. It is important to know what you need or want to learn before you start a class. How do you complete a needs assessment? Usually, your teacher gives you different topics that you may learn in class. You choose whatever you are interested. Then your teacher collects everyone's choices. You will learn the most chosen topics. Let's take a look at an example of needs assessment that I used with my CLB2 class. Um, there are 12 topics with pictures. My students look through them and pick four topics that they were interested. Most of them picked number one, six, seven, and ten. So they would learn these four topics in a class. Goal setting. What does goal mean? Goal is something you want to get or achieve. Let's look at the picture. You are at the bottom of the ladder and you want to get to the top. So getting to the top is your goal. And your goal for your English learning can be moving from one level to a higher level at school. You want to know how you set up a good goal for your English learning. First, you should know how good or bad your English is. Check your current benchmarks. Second, think about your goal for listening, speaking, reading and writing the four skills. And last, have a deadline for the goal. Here is an example of my student's goal setting. The student first filled out his current benchmarks. He had 1111 for his listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Then he finished the four boxes for each skill with a deadline. He wanted to get CLB2 for listening, speaking, reading, and writing by October 2020. Also, he listed what he wanted to achieve for the four skills in class. During a session, you need to go back to your goal setting page and review your goal. Both needs assessment and goal setting that I've shown to you are examples. Your teacher may have different ones for you. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you for watching. We hope you will enjoy studying with us at Center for Newcomers. Good luck.